I probably crapped on me for putting Arco so low. I think he's a huge fan of Arco. If I had to guess. Oh shit. How long is it? Let's see. So there are people within the Linux community that claim that most Linux distributions are quote pointless. Is that the case? Oh but yeah. I knew it was going to be a hot take as soon as I heard right? it. If you say a distribution is pointless for yourself, it's your own personal opinion and your own personal use case. Yes, there are a lot of distributions, for example, that I would consider pointless for me. I have no use for them. But you can't generally speaking just say that a whole bunch of Linux distributions are pointless because you can't speak for everyone. You can speak for yourself, and that's fine when you do so. But if you make a, a lot of people got the hurt over that that, that tier list, you know, I will say of that. Linux distributions out there are <laughs> pointless. You know that's that's condescending. Ooh. That's arrogant. You're 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 Eesh. speaking for everyone when you're. That's really not your place. For one thing, what about all the distro maintainers out there? Now these guys, I'm assuming they actually enjoy maintaining their Linux distributions. They probably they use probably their do Linux yes distributions that they're maintaining, right? So is it pointless for them? Obviously not. If people enjoy working on a project and maintaining a project and actually using a piece of free and open source software, whatever it is, then it's not pointless. At least not pointless for them. I mean, I mean, let's just, uh, let's just one second, one second here. Okay. Okay. I get that a lot of people like maintaining their distro and if there's a point to it, sure, sure. But I mean, a lot of those I put on the list of pointless are, are pointless. They're, they're spending a ton of time. And all I'm saying is it's kind of pointless for them to do that when they could uh, contribute to the upstream. You know, I think that it's they'd get so much more out of it. I want to say like from just giving back to that aspect I feel like it would just reach a broader audience and their work would be more appreciated than being in a pointless distribution. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> all right, all right, let's finish. We, we, got 20, we got 20 seconds left. And again, I, I think it's very arrogant and I think it's kind of conceited to tell these people that their work on these free and open source software projects is pointless distros they do matter peace guys no they don't <laughs> so here's kind of my take on that <laughs> they really don't like i get where the hardcore linux crowd's coming from for that where um, and I totally get why, like if I was a maintainer of a distro and I made a tier list and put that distro in the point, list, I would, I would take offense to it. I, I get why people are mad. So like, by no means am I striking out of the people that are like DT. I don't think he maintains a distro or anything, but like, uh, many other people that do, I, I get that they're mad at me for calling their distro pointless because they've spent hundreds of hours of work. I'm just saying they could spend that work somewhere else and reach a broader audience is, is in, you know, contributing to upstream arch or contributing to upstream Debian, uh, creating more GitHub projects and, and utilizing it. Like take Arco, for example, which I put in the point list here, right? Dude, the guy has super, he's super talented. Like when you look at his GitHub, it's great. Like Arco GitHub. Yeah. Arco Linux. There we go. Like, Oh man, it's so, so cool. But I like to come in here and I'll literally just steal from him and be like, Hey, he did a good job setting that up, but I'm going to put that on arch. So I just feel like if you would have just made that and put it into like a more of a script and put it on GitHub and had those people use it and people are like, well, what about the normal people that are using GitHub or, or not normal people don't use GitHub. But we just need to refer to Linus's video to figure out that because he was like, I don't know if you guys remember this from Linus's video, but he was like, I need to get this script. So he was doing like a file save at, I don't even know how he did it. It was like the most, it was the most ridiculous way of, he was like, right click, save as HTML. And then he was like copying out this instead of just clicking raw and getting the file. But I digress. Normal people don't use GitHub. <laughs> and I get that. 
But then again, do normal people really use Linux that much? I think they stick to like the mints of the world. And like an Arco Linux, why I call it pointless, is, is mainly just because a normal person shouldn't use Arco. A normal person shouldn't use Garuda. Like all a normal person that doesn't know much about that and can't use GitHub, what they're going to do is they're going to get on there. They're going to get on the AUR. And then they're going to install a whole bunch of crap that nobody wants. And then as soon as that happens, they're going to be like, Linux sucks. Linux just, it, it, things break. When I update it, I'm going back to Windows. And that helps no one. It just pisses everybody off. So when I call the distro pointless, I know that it hurts people's feelings. I'm just like, I get it. But at the same time, someone need it just needs to be said because all you're doing is putting this false facade up that Linux is perfect. And then they go to do it and use these distributions that are really easy and set up for the new user. And then they just break it. And I, I, if I had to give them any kind of credibility uh, of why you should use it is maybe for you to install it once and then see what they did and then go, oh, I like that. I'm going to put that on regular Arch. Or, oh, I like that. I'm going to put that on regular Debian. I get that. Like maybe to understand the complete tool set. That's what some of these distributions do. So maybe not call them pointless. Maybe call them exploratory distros. Maybe that would have been a little bit uh, better. But it's YouTube. Calling them pointless kind of gets people riled up. And that's what you should do for YouTube. <laughs> So, ah, you know, distro have feelings too. <laughs> I get it. Everyone should just Linux from scratch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and, and here I am. Here I am sitting here in Windows, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's like throwing stones in a glass house. I mean, it's fine, though. At the end of the day, I think a lot of it is just learning. And I think that's the big thing I, I care about. People see stuff and learn learn something from it. I think a lot of people get confused or scared of the Linux distros. And the whole point of that tier list was just to kind of... It was meant for a noob. And really a noob that looks at it and goes, Hey, I need to figure out what to install first. And not be just completely like overwhelmed with choice. And that's what I did with that point. That tier list was just for someone that is freshly from windows. That's going, Hey, I want to try this Linux thing. That tier list was for them just to go, Hey, Oh, Oh, well, everyone was saying that was good, but Titus said it was pointless. It was more to steer them towards a distro that wouldn't completely shit all over them at the first chance it got, because almost every arch based distro would do that. And uh, that's that's the main problem. So that, that, that's that's all I was saying. But yeah, that's a that's a good good tidbit from old DT. Uh, yeah, he is he is he was a little angry. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Probably not the last time. I think the tribalism is harming the Linux community. People get so sensitive. I mean, yeah, I, I think that that's something. There's something to that with the, the, the tribalism aspect of it. But, um, I, well, I did the windows tier list. I, I'm about to release that video. I'm going to probably try, I'm going to try and release that tomorrow, the windows tier list, but I'm sure people will love that because windows users love crapping on old versions of windows, especially the bad versions of windows. Uh, and then kind of shaking up what people think about some of those versions. But most people will see that tier list and go, yeah, I think it'll be a lot less, uh, a lot less people upset over for, for sure. Most Windows users know the shortcomings of Windows, but we use Windows mainly because a lot of times it just works for what we know, or you don't have the compatibility from, from something you might be like a hardware aspect of things. And it's like that old, like, I think I said it in another stream. It's like an old drug addict friend, you know, you just wish he would get better, but he just keeps doing what he does, you know, that's windows. We all, all, all the windows users out there, whenever we use it, we're like, come on, <laughs> that didn't just happen. Microsoft didn't just do that. And they were like, all right, all right, that's just windows. 
That's just how it is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's good too. I get frustrated when people tell other people what Linux distro to use without asking the person why they want to learn Linux. So true. Like you can't just say install mint, which I mean, for the most part you can on a new user, but how are they? Like I wasn't, I've never been much of a mint user. I've used it a little bit, but a lot of times I, I wanted to move on past it because certain limitations and I'm not a huge cinnamon fan. So a lot of times I move past mint, but it depends on the user. Like as a power user, I would say a lot of Windows users come into Linux, try it, start with like Mint or Debian, and then, you know, kind of get that and understand some of the basics of how these are constructed. And then I would love to just put them in an Arch install, especially I'm talking like IT professionals that are coming to Linux, not necessarily normal people, <laughs> your average users. A lot of the average users don't really want to change their operating system. They're either Mac or Windows these days, for the most part. And I would say for those IT professionals though, start with like a Mint, maybe move on to like a Debian or start with Debian. If you're somewhat familiar with some of the Linux uh, CLI, then I'd say start with Debian and then move on to an Arch, just a full blown vanilla Arch because Arch teaches you a lot of the structure of Linux and how things are constructed. And then you can learn a lot from that. Uh, I don't really, these days, I don't really look at Linux as a good endpoint for a normal user. Like most normal users will either, they're either Windows users or Mac users. Um, where I, I, I used to really preach that, hey, everyone could use Linux and it could be just really installed and used by anyone. But really a lot of the average users just don't want to learn something new. And it's not that Linux is hard, it's just, they don't want to learn all the different stuff. And when they run into problems, they just want to, they, they want to Google search it. And I get that. I really do. And, and that's just kind of where I am on, on Linux adoption. I, I mean, I, I love the fact that Linux gives the infinite options for everything. I think that's the amazing, that's the amazing part of it. Like, that's the thing that's beautiful about Linux is you have that a lot of the crowd that thinks that normies can just pick up Linux and go, I think they, they misunderstand a lot of the, uh, a lot of the beauty of it. Linux isn't meant to be chopped down into a bite size usable thing for, for a normal user. It just, just not built that way. It's not to say there's not flavors of Linux that are like that, but those ones are typically big companies supporting them. So where I see like, the the normal crowd or mass adoption happening this is going to piss people off even more but it's the truth steam os valve backs it it's on their particular hardware the steam deck it works great and they have all the support and nothing really ever goes wrong with my steam deck i freaking love my steam deck it just works great and normies can do it all day long valve has leveraged linux to make mass adoption happen in that realm same thing has happened with Chromebooks. You look at Chromebooks, Chromebooks actually have more adoption than Linux. I think it's like four or 5% of the desktop market share. Well, that's actually using a form of Gen 2 Linux, unless they've swapped completely from that. But I'm pretty sure the kernel still built using Gen 2 and then they, they do some other stuff. But anyways, Chromebooks themselves are a form of Google taking Linux and making their own and then supporting that own environment on their own hardware, much like Valve does. So Linux, you could say, it supports mainstream stuff. It's just you need a major company backing it. And that's where Google does it with Chromebook and Valve does it with the Steam Deck. But as far as normal users creating an ISO, tossing it on a stick, installing the operating system of choice, I mean, I don't, I just don't see that being a thing. I mean, I get it for like hobbyists and other things and maybe IT professionals wanting to expand their career and their skill set makes perfect sense and i love it for that but i'm no longer under the the guise of hey this one linux distribution is gonna just take off it's gonna be the year of the linux desktop i like to i like to joke around and be like it's the year of the linux desktop and just see the whole internet charge out and be like it's amazing we're at three percent market share 
This is it, guys. Buckle up. Year of the Linux desktop. And then, you know, it's going to go back to like 2.5 here in a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> i think we're in year 10 of the linux desktop it's true it's true i love it guys though i mean in, you know it's not me hating on linux it's just uh i like to just tell people kind of how it is try to be it real from from my experiences and just say here, here's really what everyone wants to say but they just can't or they haven't quite gotten to this point in their journey yet but this is where they will and actually end up 